Hello, I'm going to go over the homework requirements for the Jackson Pollock essay. So I strongly encourage you to submit your work long before the due date, the deadline, the due date. Um, if you submit your work in the last 10 minutes before the deadline, um, oftentimes your work might not get submitted correctly. So I hope and encourage you to plan accordingly and submit your work long before it's due. So the requirements for this um, essay, you're going to want to have a minimum of 500 words in your discussion post and you're going to want to respond to the four essay prompts that I'm going to go over that are listed below. You'll need to respond to two of your classmates posts using a minimum of 60 words and be sure to um, in those posts use the terms and concepts that we're learning in this particular module. So covering lots of really great stuff, lots of different ways for you to show to me what you're getting from your classmates discussion posts. So um, the concepts that you're required to cover, number one, Jackson Pollock described his paintings as energy and motion made visible, memories arrested in space. Discuss your thoughts regarding this concept when you viewed Pollock's paintings and his creative process. So that's kind of almost a, a poetic way for Pollock to talk about his work. So now I want you to talk about your thoughts um, regarding the way that he's kind of delivering a message about the way that he thinks of his work. Uh, the second discussion prompt, from your readings and the lecture information, include in your essay your views on the ways in which Pollock's creative process uses motion, which is part of the module's main discussion points, to inform his work. So that's also known as action painting. So again, use your words. Uh, you might want to define action painting, but how do you see that as part of his creative project process that informs potentially um, prompt number, number one? I would encourage you to grab these prompts and cut and paste them or indicate which prompt you're responding to. It makes it easier for me when I'm reading the, you know, many, many, many um, responses to these homework posts. So either grab the prompts and respond to them um, or just indicate what prompt you're responding to. The third prompt, share your ideas on how the cultural context of the time period when Pollock made his work might have impacted why Pollock's paintings are considered so important in the world of art and art history. So you know how much I appreciate the concept of of the cultural context, right? That's um, the four, when we talked about visual analysis, the fourth type of investigation is all about cultural context. So you might wanna do some research about this time period to be able to reflect on this particular prompt. And then the fourth prompt, tell us which one of the role of the artist you think Pollock used when making his work, explain why you, you think he used this one of the four different approaches in his creative process. So, um, of course, when there's a blue highlighted area of words, that takes you to another page. So here we've got um, the role of the artist you can go through. I've defined it here. Uh, you could kind of revisit the lecture if you needed to, but that's going to give you information to be able to then decide which one of these roles Pollock is using. I've included a bunch of required videos. This first one is really important. It's going to give you a lot of information to be able to respond to these prompts that I'm asking you to consider. So be sure to check out all of these videos, but this 12 minute video is important. Understanding Jackson Pollock, uh, it's a really good video for five minutes. This is a video where they review kind of like what his painting technique would have been like. So you might want to check that out. This is um, pretty interesting about the uh, how they're conserving, like so the conservation concept of his paintings, because even though, um, you know, they were made many years ago and the paint, conserving it is very important because of the value and this importance in art history. And then finally, there's a four minute video where um, you can watch and listen to Pollock talk about his process. So that might be really helpful as well in responding to the prompts. I included a couple of other videos. There's a movie 
um, about Pollock that's kind of fun to watch. Um, and then, of course, there's uh, the actor who plays Jackson Pollock talking about his creative process because he's a big fan of Pollock's work. So lots of really thoughtful, great information for you to be able to learn about the value of Jackson Pollock and why I'm asking you to learn about him and think about his creative process. Okay, keep me posted with questions. Thank you.